the Play and Learn that is sponsored and funded by United Way. And I just don't have enough good things to say about this program. It is wonderful. Um, the best thing about it is that it gives us the opportunity to have Grant get the experience to have some social skills with other children his age. Um, they go up to age five and Grant's two, and he's not in daycare. So he gets the chance to be around other kids, learn how to play, socialize, and things that he wouldn't get just being at home. Uh, one of his favorite things is that there's a craft each time that's new to do. Um, the most favorite thing he did was uh, when they had colored uh, paints and they were smelled kind of like with jello or Kool-Aid or something, and you know, it smelled good. We got to take the crafts home with us. And um, there's just so many things that he can do and play with there that we don't have at home, like they said, corn tables that you can play with. I think, you know, I'm not gonna have a bunch of corn at my house. So he really thinks that that's great. They have water tables, uh, sand tables. There was one time where they had oats and you could take the different containers and fill them. And there's just so many good things about that. And then it also is nice because at the end, everybody picks up and it shows him that, you know, we can work together and clean up and then, Everybody goes and has a uh, story time and you can sing songs and it just, it's a really great, great opportunity for him to be around other children and I like it because I get to get out and be around other moms. So I just love the program and, and thank United Way so much for providing the funding for it. Um, I started working with the Goodwill program in uh, December 2011. At that time I was unemployed, mostly homeless, and couch surfing, had no transportation. With my Goodwill Works counselor, I developed a resume and, and averaged uh, several online applications a week. I also pursued jobs in person on my own. Goodwill Works enrolled me in the forklift training and I completed the training and received my certificate. I was hired at the Oakland Road Hy-Vee in April, where I remain today, but only part-time. I did land a full-time seasonal job at uh, Construction Materials Incorporated while continuing to work at Hy-Vee. The job ended in October. I was able to get an appointment, or an apartment, in June. I have also been able to open a savings account and currently saving to buy a new pair of glasses. Without Goodwill Works, I honestly don't know where I'd be today. I'm extremely thankful to the United Way and the assistance that the United Way has provided for me. five years I have volunteered with the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program, or VITA for short. Uh, VITA is a program coordinated by the Community Corrections Improvement Association, which is a partner agency of United Way. And the program provides free tax preparation services to low-income families in our community. United Way not only provides 
funding for the VITA program, but they also play a key role by scheduling all of the tax appointments through the United Way 211 line, which is really a lifesaver. Last year, through the program, uh, volunteers completed over 1,300 tax returns, and with that, over $2 million came back in refunds to low-income families in our community. And although I think those statistics are impressive, uh, I personally get to hear the stories firsthand from the people we are helping. And they are so appreciative and grateful for the service. And um, every time when I'm uh, preparing tax returns, inevitably somebody says, you do this for free? And we say, well, yeah, it's a, it's a program. It's supported by United Way, and we're here to help. And they're, they're so grateful uh, for the service. Um, by being a part of VITA, I've really seen what we can accomplish when community partners come together to support a program. Uh, we have United Way, we have nonprofits, and we have volunteers. And when we all come together, we really can make a difference in our community. Thank you. A special thanks to the individuals who shared their stories tonight. That's why United Way is here. We're here for the community. You're our friends, our neighbors, our coworkers. And we're here to help everyone. So thank you so much. Let's give them a round of applause. Well, we want to keep this party moving. And I think, as all of you know, um, I like getting checks really, really a lot. <laughs> it's part of my job. And tonight, we have a great announcement. Uh, we have had a wonderful supporter by the name of Kelly Malford and his wife, Anne, who have been involved with United Way for a long time. Uh, Kelly has been a longtime employee of Quaker Oats PepsiCo. He was a loaned executive with us, and he was also a board member. And he's also one of the Shipping 20 Powerball winners. So, uh, there he is. Uh, when we kicked off uh, this last year for a campaign, Kelly came up to me. He said, uh, I have a surprise for you, and Kelly's here tonight with Anne to do a check presentation. Come on. <laughs> thank you. Just a real quick uh, thank you very much, but a real quick uh, uh, wow. The the woohoo that uh, you heard was uh, uh, for the community here. Uh, you guys do the great work. Uh, the folks that uh, stood up earlier and shared their story, that's what this is about. And Annie and I uh, thought of the United Way right away. Uh, so anyway, uh, a little emotional because, yeah, we've been involved with this uh, United Way for a long time. Uh, now we're going to be there the rest of our lives and, and on throughout uh, the United Way uh, needs. So. Anyway, thank you and woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Well, Mark and Kathy Gullickson have been our campaign chairs, and we've asked them to do a lot of things during the year. Uh, we've asked them to advocate for us quite a bit. So let's take just a quick look at some of the things they did. Dispatch, we have another here at uh, First Avenue and 34th Street Drive, Southeast. Hello there, sir. Yes, sir. Do you know why I'm stopping here? Police officers pulled over dozens of motorists the past few months. Many slowed down to see Mark and Kathy Gullickson's message. The 2012 campaign chairs have been sharing it on a billboard along busy First Avenue for months. Even next year's campaign chair, Ron Olson, is caught up in their message. Thank you, Mark and Kathy, for advocating for United Way. No actual drivers have received tickets, as far as we know. We've known Ron for a long time. That's the first funny thing he's ever done. <laughs> and you're laughing because you know it's true. Thanks for coming. Uh, we know you're here for a very important reason, and that's to hear the big announcement. All of your efforts have paid off. All of the work that you've uh, done over the last year uh, has worked. So let's roll the video and find out what that number is. As a community, we are solving problems together. 
And with your help, we can make a big difference. One dollar at a time, one volunteer hour at a time, and one day at a time. Companies, employees, and community members all work together to help us improve the community. It takes a community to make a difference, and your support this year helped us raise. $10 million raised for the sixth year in a row. Thank you for your support. We couldn't do it without you. Your dollars are an investment towards a better future. Thank you. I'm awfully proud to be part of this community. But there is more to the story than the money. One of our goals this year was to add companies to the campaign. We had a goal of adding 25 new companies. And with the help of the staff and the loaned executives, Ron, Mark, and I, and everyone who worked at it, we were able to add 58 new companies. And there's more good news. There are other programs like Kids on Course, Retired and Senior Volunteers Program, the Youth Achievement Corps, and the Volunteer Generations Fund. And through these programs, United Way also brought in another $670,635 to the community. And we also received $40,000 in in-kind gifts. When you put in volunteer hours as well, they were valued this year at $1.75 million. So really, if you add it up, the total raised by United Way this year was over $12.8 million. What an accomplishment. When one of the things that we do as co-chair is find what's called the vice chair. And it's, that's really not fair. You're really adding another co-chair. In fact, we have tri-chairs in a sense, and it's Kathy and, and I were there, but Ron was there. Uh, we were welded at the hip. When we couldn't do a visit, he did it, and vice versa. And it's been great to have Ron Olson as our, as our co-chair this year. And he's uh, been smart enough to recruit some folks to help him that he's going to talk about. But again, Ron Olson, great job. Thank you very much. Uh, it's my pleasure to hand off the infamous cup that is already engraved with Ron Olson's name so he cannot back down. <laughs> I got to tell you, it was a very successful campaign, um, but there were challenges too. Uh, Mark and Kathy Gullickson met those challenges and uh, went above and beyond, as you heard, with 58 new companies. So let's give them another round of applause. And also tonight, we uh, would like to introduce the vice chairs for the 2013 campaign, who will be taking over in 2014 the uh, centennial year for United Way, and the vice chairs are Matt Evans and Jack Evans. Please stand up. <laughs> They're going to do a great job. Jack is an old hand at this, or maybe I should say an experienced hand, Jack, but uh, I think he ran the campaign in 1991, so. Uh, looking forward to really uh, working with them this year. In fact, we're already up and running. I've had uh, several meetings on our campaign uh, to be coming up in 2013. Uh, how many out in the audience have heard of the children's book, the Flat Stanley series? Oh, quite a few. You know, I had never heard of Flat Stanley, and for those of you who hadn't, uh, Flat Stanley is a, a young man who I think the bulletin board falls on his head while he's laying in bed one day. And uh, they end up, Flat Stanley, sending him around the world. He can go under doors, go every place. People were taking their pictures with Flat Stanley. So this year, uh, the staff has come up with something very creative called Flat Ron. <laughs> He 
He actually had all black hair, but then I said, you better put a few gray hairs up there. It doesn't really look like me. So Flat Ron is going to be turning up all over the place this year. Going to be turning up at your place of employment. If I can't make it to an appointment or Jack and Matt can't, you're going to, you're going to see Flat Ron. In fact, those of you with Facebook pages, take a picture with Flat Ron and, and post it on your Facebook wall. So. We're really looking forward to uh, 2013. The staff is great. We're, uh, we've got a great group of volunteers. And of course, all of you have made, uh, made United Way what it is. We're looking forward to a great 2013. Thank you for coming tonight.